Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us again on Face to Face. My guest today, as last time, is David Damien. When we finished off last time, we were speaking about what God was doing in 2020, but we've changed. We're in 2021. And I want to talk to David about how we prepare as the Bride of Christ and what God has spoken about this year, if anything at all. David, thank you so much again for joining me on Face to Face today. Last time was 2020 and the shaking of the ecclesia or the emerging ecclesia out of the shaking that God is doing. And now we're in 2021. And what is in your heart? What has the Lord said to you? Thank you, Lauren. And last time we were, uh, I enjoyed it very much. And we talked about uh, that this, what we're going through, uh, looking hindsight, it's easy to see what the Lord was speaking and doing, yet we didn't have the full understanding. And looking hindsight, it's always good because you can see, wow, when he said that 2020 will begin a new era and I will shake heaven and earth, we, we always have an understanding based on our frame. But then suddenly when we went into 2020 and the whole world was on a standstill, we were, I, I, I like the phrase, we were all by the Lord called home. We all stayed home, no plan. I have never ever had four or five months solid together with my family uh, at home ever in my life. I don't remember for 30 years we, I ever stayed home for four months solid together. But the Lord, I mean, whatever the enemy intended for evil, always the Lord. Uh, uses it for good. So I wanted to put that concept that God is not uh, uh, shaken by evil. And uh, Joseph declared that one time when he said to his brothers, you intended evil, but God. God did not change the evil. God used the evil for his purposes to make a, a man after his own heart in prison and in jail and being sold out and so on. I believe what's happening today, as evil as it is, in all the sickness and the death and the and the economic economic collapses and 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 God is not shaken by it. God is up. He is the one above it. And he shakes the world and whatever the enemy intends for evil, God uses it for good. So there was a lot of happening in all our our walk as you said what is for 2021 and i wanted just to enter into a, a little part of it and i will not inf i mean i'm sure this will need more sessions but one of the parts that uh, was very clear to us is that as we are entering into there is an emerging ecclesia emerging body of christ and i like to use the word kingdom mindset in a way that we have never uh, seen before. So as we entered into uh, 2021, we are going to see uh, uh, a ceasing in a new way from old patterns and old thoughts and old way. I look at it as me being a doctor uh, originally, I like to look at it as you have a bottle and there's an expiry date, a bottle of medicine. There's an expiry date. It doesn't matter how many uh, pills are left in the bottle. It's finished. It's over. And you have to think of the new bottle that you will get. Otherwise, if you use expiry medicine, it will not bring the effect. Actually, it could be dangerous. I look at the body of Christ entering into 2021 as in this way, that the Lord is bringing us into the place of hearing new steps and new strategies. In, in one of those, there is going to be an authority given to the body of Christ, an authority to declare on earth what the Father is speaking in heaven. And in that, that uh, remember last session, I talked about uh, Amos 3, Amos 3, 8, uh, the, lion, the lion has roared, who but not fear. Then the second part, it says, the sovereign Lord hath spoken, who but not prophesy, meaning 
that there is an echo uh, of heaven and earth. The Lord will speak and the body will declare it. So we will declare his orders on earth as it is in heaven. We will declare his will on earth as it is in heaven. So there is a, a, a coming together of a joint uh, body of Christ into a, a oneness that the world has never seen before. And as we enter into that uh, uh, oneness, there is an emerging voice. The voice will not be David's voice, nor Lauren's voice, nor this person's voice. It will be a corporate discernment that we will come together and begin to re release that, the voice of heaven on earth. Uh, governments will shake, uh, uh, economy will shake, uh, uh, establishments will shake, but the voice of the Lord will be above all that and will speak into that. One of the things that the Lord was very clear to speak is that comes, that authority to the body of Christ over the nations will come as a point of overcoming. If you remember in the book of Revelation uh, to the church of Thyatira, to those who overcome, I will give authority over the nations. So the vo the vo we will not be interacting on the same level with the, with, in the natural. We will be a heavenly governmental authority will speak into the natural governments. So we, it's not a fight, it's speaking the will of the Lord into let it be according to his will. For that to happen, we have to overcome. And this is a very interesting word uh, to those who overcome. I will give authority over the nations. And in that particular part to the church of Thyatira, he referred it to the spirit of Jezebel. To those who overcome, I'll give authority. So basically, we are about to enter into, actually, uh, let me rephrase that. We have entered into a confrontation with the spirits that the Lord wants us to overcome. And one of them is going to be the spirit of Jezebel. There will be confusion. There will be a... a, a uh, 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 sexual immorality, there will be a lot of things that will be twisted because this, that spirit uh, is going to release uh, that on earth. But there is an emerging church that will overcome. And uh, uh, overcoming that is going to be the Lord's interaction as we come close to the Lord and enter into that. The, as I said to the Lord, what, one of the things that the Lord began revealing to me as I was dialoguing with him about the spirit of Jezebel, because it has many ramifications, and it's going to be not just a, a, what we have dealt with. It's another level. Authority over the nations, you cannot overcome and uh, uh, have authority unless you deal with authority. So the Lord is going to release another measure another level of authority uh, in the demonic realm. He is going to unleash it so we can overcome it because the Lord is waiting for the overcomers. So the Lord took me back to the story in the, uh, in the Old Testament about Elijah dealing with the spirit of Jezebel. And I want to touch on this point because it is going to be one of the main characteristics of 2021 on among one of um, among some others, that it's going to highlight the emerging, overcoming church in 2021 on. When, if you look back at the spirit of Jezebel, when uh, Elijah faced it head on, uh, Jezebel and Ahab, Elijah went on the top of the mountain, as you remember, confronted the prophets of Baal and Ishtar. He He stood giant there. He stood with the presence of the Lord. And he was not afraid. He confronted the prophets of Baal. And you know the whole story. I don't need to get into it. But he experienced the power of God, the presence of God on that mountain. And to the point that he eradicated the worship to uh, these uh, uh, spirits at this time. 
he killed all the prophets. Well, uh, uh, Jezebel heard of that. So she threatened Elijah. She said to him, uh, I will do to you what you have done and so on. The Bible says very interesting statement. When Elijah heard the threat of Jezebel, he ran for his life. Imagine a giant like Elijah. Imagine a man of God experiencing the presence of God. The power of God on the mountain ran for his life. The Lord met him and he said to me, he said to him, why are you here, Elijah? And he said, I remained alone. And I felt the Lord was speaking to me personally as David, and he's speaking to the body of Christ. Uh, promise me, David, that no Elijahs will run again for their life. And I said to the Lord, what do you mean, Lord? He said to me, the Lord was speaking to me, and I believe he's speaking to many. There is a something about the, the, the giants of faith, all those that are going to stand on the top of the mountain and do exploits for God. Many of them are alive in the world today. People that God has prepared like Elijah. And the Lord said, what hit Elijah through Jezebel, Jezebel's words is loneliness. He ran for his life and he said to God, I was alone. God corrected him and he said to him, there are 7,000 knees that has never bowed to bow. Yet, where were they? Why Elijah was not connected to them? The sad part is, Elijah remained alone. Not alone from the presence of God. God was with him on the mountain. Not alone from the manifestations of the kingdom. It was so clear, the power of God on that mountain. But, God was, uh, but Elijah was alone from people, fellowship, family, connection, oneness. And the Lord said, I don't want any of my uh, chosen ones at this hour in 2021 on, after they do exploits on the mountains of God, that they will run for their life because that spirit is going to challenge all those who are walking with God. And the Lord said, bring the family together in a new way, in oneness, in one heart, link, connect. So I wanted to say this, this is going to be one of the main things. Don't stand alone and don't walk alone, regardless of the power and the manifestation of God's presence that you experience. Link arms, be accountable to some people, come with two or three and gather with them. I'm giving you practical things because that will lead to the major thing. Otherwise, we are talking about things up high, but we're not translating it to practically. So the first point is find two or three or four people that you trust, link arms with them, be accountable to them, and walk as one family. And I want to give you an encouragement. That man, that lonely man, Elijah, that uh, uh, ran for his life from the challenge of the spirit of Jezebel. That lonely man, the Bible speaks in Malachi, in the last days, the spirit of Elijah will come and will restore the family, will restore the hearts of the fathers to the children and the children to the fathers. So God has a redemptive purpose, even in that man, in his loneliness, his spirit, has come and is coming again in 2021 on to restore the family in a new way that the world has never seen yet. And that is one of the characteristics of 2021 on the family coming together in accountability, but don't make it large that you, you get lost in it. For sure, there is a big family and will connect from nation to nation, from bloodline to bloodline, from tongue to tongue, but bring it narrow down to a personal relationship with two, three, four. If two or three are gathered, accountability, and let the Lord begin to connect you heart to heart and being accountable together. This is wonderful, David. Thank you so much. I was going to ask you exactly how can it come into my living room so that I can be part of this family of God because we are still separated by this COVID. We can't get together in many, many places. 
but the reality is it's even on Zoom or even on calls, but we, in, in many places, we can come together with the twos and the threes. So I want to thank you so much for bringing it right down, right to us, right where we are, that this vast government being upon his shoulders is not beyond my preparation. I can be prepared for the same thing. You're accountable with your leaders and I can be accountable with the people that I'm with and who God has me walking with. So I want to thank you so very much for that. And I think that we need to, we've run out of time again, which is always very sad, but we will get together again because there's just so much that even as you speak that stirs in me and that I know that the body of Christ would like to know about. So David Damien, thank you so much for your time and I look forward to joining with you again. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you so very much for joining with us today again. And I really look forward and hope that you'll come back and we'll be able to talk about further things that God is doing and what is he wants to prepare and how he wants to prepare you to not only be the receiver of his presence, but to carry the governmental authority that he's going to be releasing. To everybody, thank you for joining us. See you next time. And do remember, enjoy him as much as he enjoys you.